All right, so now this video right here is gonna be a little controversial. Um, it may rub some of y'all the wrong way, but it is what it is. I'm gonna speak my mind on this. And this is about supplements. Should you take supplements and do they work? And so first, let me start off by telling you the supplements that I take. Notice that I pause right there. I don't take any supplements. I don't take whey protein, creatine, beta alanine, pre-workouts, multivitamins. I don't take none of that stuff. Nothing. I just get all my stuff from Whole Foods. And the reason why is because I feel like the supplement industry is like one of the most corrupt industries and one of the most leading, most misleading industries um, in this fitness community. Because I can't stand how they sponsor these bodies, professional bodybuilders, and they, they try to make you think that, okay, if you um, take this whey protein that uh, Phil Heath is taking, you're going to look like him. But most of us know that's not the reason why he looks like that. He's on other drugs. But a lot of these newcomers and these guys that are just getting into fitness, they don't, they don't know any of this stuff. They're thinking, oh, if I take this brand um, of supplements because it's sponsored by these bodybuilders, all I got to do is take that and I'm going to be jacked. And that's, that's not true. And I feel like the supplement industry is just leading people down a dead-end road. And you don't really need supplements, man. As long as you're getting everything, and as long as you're meeting all your needs through your diet, supplements are just more for convenient purposes. And pretty much if you want to build muscle, you need proper nutrition. So just meet all your, all your um, nutritional needs, you, which you can do through food. Consistent workouts and proper rest. I can't tell you how many people I see that don't really work out, they think just because they're going to start taking whey protein that automatically they're going to build muscle. It's not going to happen. It doesn't work like that. You got to put in the work, you got to put in the time, you got to put in the years to build muscle. And these supplement companies, they're not going to tell you that. They're just going to give you, um, they're just going to try to sell you dreams. And so also, if you don't take supplements and try to meet all your needs through foods, it teaches you discipline. It teaches you how to uh, vary your diet, add different types of foods so you can try to cover all your bases, try to cover all your vitamins, minerals, and your macronutrients. It teaches you how to just be, how to eat better. And I see a lot of people, and then another thing I want to bring up is uh, supplements, they are regulated by the FDA but they're regulated as a food instead of a drug. So pretty much the only time that they're tested by the FDA is if people start having adverse effects to them. So anybody can release a supplement and you don't even know what's in these products. You're trusting these companies and you know what I'm saying, you don't know if they're, we don't know what ingredients they're putting in. And you see on the news or on the internet, these kids um, suffering from liver problems uh, kidney problems from taking these supplements because they have bad substances or a substance that's not in the ingredients list. So you got to really be careful, man. So this, the, the best bet is uh, just try to get everything from your foods. That, that's my opinion on that. If you want to take supplements, then go do it. It's, it's a lot cheaper to buy food than buy supplements and it's going to actually teach you to eat a variety of foods and it's going to teach you self-discipline but that's just my opinion on it take it for what it is um, leave your comments at the bottom if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it man it is what it is peace out